Here is Rover C Pro and uh, what M5 Stack have done is to add a gripper on the front so it's controlled by a um, servo motor and uh, that connects to uh, additional ports for servos on top of the um, Rover C hat. So what, what I'm going to do now is um, control Rover C with a um, Joy C hat and it's a, a joystick with a M5 Stack C added on top. So the Joy C becomes a hat to the M5 Stick C. So uh, all I have to do is um, switch on power is connect it to a um, USB-C and charge the battery and hopefully our uh, robot will have its battery fully charged So you can see on the screen, I'll just turn it around, and uh, what appears here is the um, address, that is the uh, MAC address, uh, and the, um, when I press the button on, no, uh, when I press the button on the uh, joystick, it should scan and look for that address. So it's using Wi-Fi. So we'll go back to our joystick. And uh, I've got the joystick on the left and the Rover C on the right. So after pairing the two M5 stick Cs and they're using Wi-Fi for communications, uh, they're now connected. So here's our um, two M5 stick C computers and uh, the one on the left is going to do the remote control using a um, Joy C hat on the M5 stick C and on the right the M5 stick C is connected to a Rover C Pro hat as a uh, robot so um, I previously paired them by pressing button A and uh, the MAC address uh, for the robot is advertised on its LCD and um, the um, joystick simply is paired with it. So if I now want to do some remote control all I have to do is um, uh, if I want to spin the robot, spin it round on its axis, spin it the other way And if I want to make it um, use the left joystick to move it back and forward.